So what are you marking there? Post tops have to cut these all, but the ones on this stretch right here are gonna have an angle. And uh, which is gonna be really fun because I'll have to cut them with a chainsaw. This line marks the post tops. Level from end to end. Yeah. And pleasing to the eye. So you okay. run a string from each corner going across. Come in the middle, you measure up the same distance as the corners. And then sometimes you have to fudge it a little bit here and there and then see how it looks with the string standing back. How do you tie that in into the actual height from the terrain, the grass in this case? In this case, we want a little bit of a gap at the bottom so you can cut or trim the grass underneath the fence. Yeah. So we're allowing about two inches extra okay. under the fence. So we're measuring two inches higher than our, our end, end goal height. And we, we mark the post at that. And by running the string and, and looking at it, we're able to see how it's gonna look once the fence is built. Because we don't want a fence that looks like a roller coaster. It's more important the tops of the fence look level than what's on the ground. Yeah, I agree. I'd rather have the tops of the fence look all on a straight line and you forgive what's on the ground because landscaping varies. And it's natural to have yeah. the ground have some dips and humps and so forth. Sweet. Beautiful. Yo, know, have you seen that square out there anywhere? Well, maybe here, just over here, I just noticed it. Right there. It's gonna go like halfway across, I think, probably, but most important is right here. Okay. Could have caught it, but my finger would have got smashed between it and the board. Now I would have been impressed. Yeah, it's got some bow and warpage, but once it gets secured down, we'll be fine. Oh wow! It's meant to be. Okay, so I have that. I'm gonna have Jose butt that one up against the end down there. 
Unusable part of our property now is that purpose. important lesson in life two pennies make sense that is the lesson of the day Groucho Marx <laughs> he was something else watch your head watch your head that one's popping over toward you okay can you pull that one down and like oh you always living on the edge oh he's living on the edge Up down there, Jose. Okay, Bob, get a paper towel and touch up those those cuts on the corner. What you got there? Uh, it's a preservative. So we had to cut the treated wood, so it'll uh, protect it. I didn't know you're supposed to do that. That's great. The fence is starting to take shape. Wow, you get an idea how great this privacy fence is going to be. I want to rip this at an inch and a quarter. What is this for? This is for marking where the cross rails are going to go. It's a oh, okay. basically I'm making a jig. Oh, okay. That's cool. Could you imagine if we uh, had to set those posts in so that every board would fit in? Not only that, but the boards that come from the mill aren't exact either. So, or are they all going to be different size? They're all different size. It's what we call a custom fence, Jose. Custom. I'm very impressed with the construction of this frame for our privacy fence. It is really strong. Here to do a proper job of building this fence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that's a great way to test it. <laughs> Look at that. Nice boards. Storing the fence slats in the trailer. Day one of fence building is done. And it's just now starting to rain.